What's going on, everybody? And thank you, because you have just tuned in to Real Labs on Real Radio 104.1. I'm your host tonight, Mr. James John, comedian extraordinaire. I'm in the big seat. We are your nightcap of comedy. That's right. We're going to give you guys what you need to get you through that night shift. If that's what you're doing right now for your only way home, we're going to give you a little comedy, a little bit of laugh, a little tickle to your gickle. That's right, people, to make sure you're feeling good today. If you guys are not following us on social media, shame on you. Go to Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment, and share all this hilarity. Now, I'm joined in virtual studio with some very funny gentlemen. That's right. First, we're going to start off with the man who makes all this happen. He is our official sponsor, our friend, our brother. That's right. Comedian. Comedian. He's also the, one of the best lawyers in the country. He can uh, practice law in 18 different states. Take that, Morgan. That's right. I'm talking about Mr. Jeff Batman Coffin from Coffin and Lynn. They've been representing and winning from the good people of Orlando for over 20 good years. What's going on, Jeff? You know, I'm living good. I got no complaints. You are. I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun, working hard, you know, seeing concerts, getting around. You know, it's been you fun. You are. You've been doing a lot of good stuff. Now, we're going to talk about a concert you just saw just in a second, but I'm going to introduce the rest of our lovely cast first. Next up, we got the man who helped start all this hilarity over eight years ago. You heard me right. Eight years ago. That's right. I'm talking about Miguel Colon. And don't forget to Junior because he knows who his daddy is. What's going on, bro? What's up, man? I was just thinking about Batman. You know Batman's had to go out drunk a couple times. That's the most <laughs> terrifying Batman. He's just whipping around the Batmobile with the top down. Robin's like, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, you know what neighborhood we're going to. We'll just find it there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you're just sitting on your stoop drinking a 40 and a Batarang breaks it? <laughs> What are you punks up to? Oh, no. Sir, it's drunk Batman. Sir, this is a middle school. <laughs> Robin's like, I'll, I'll take this one, Batman. He's like, yeah, what are you stupid? For? Get out of here, boys. Get out of here right now. Get out of here right now. Run, 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 run. run. Oh, that's hilarious. No, right. we don't kill. We don't kill. <laughs> Jason Todd's just smoking a joint, watching it. Like, oh, I'm loving this. I'm, I love, yeah. <laughs> this is a long time ago. <laughs> oh, man. oh, next up, we have the man that has uh, no lack of nicknames. That's right. He's like Deion Sanders in the '90s, baby. Y'all know him as Ken Miller, the uh, Orlando comedy godfather, if you will. But tonight, he is Cruise Pop. It's the hip hop pop pop. Ken Miller, bro, what's going on? Dog, you ever put your Pandora, or your Spotify, or whatever on shuffle? Today mm. it was playing, and and for people listening, you have to understand it was playing illegal, um, crisscross, all the kids, and I'm, I'm like, yo, like, cause I was a kid, yeah, when you think yeah, about, man. I was a kid when this all came out, and it got me to thinking, there are no kid rappers, there are no rap groups, there are no R and B groups. That is heavy metal no even still a thing? Like all the stuff I remember Ooh. as a kid, I'm like, is 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 it still? Because I know there are no R and B groups. Like people don't no. do groups anymore. We don't do groups anymore, man. No, no. But groups. I was like, because remember, it was like from what? What say Miguel? From '92 to mighty '96, we had an influx of like kid rap groups. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, Chris. nobody does that anymore, bro. No. Uh. -uh. Yeah, because mm -hmm. kid, like I think, I think Lil Wayne broke it. When he was yeah. out being a kid and being all, and we were like, oh, sorry, guys. Can't yeah. rap about Aisha at the playground anymore. Wayne's <laughs> 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 out here moving G packs in Magnolia. Hey, bro. You know? Lil Wayne is the byproduct of what happens when you let little kids hang out with grown ass rappers. Like, that's yeah, what, man. yeah, that's what like happens. Like, if you man. shuffle baby or Drake radio, it'll be nothing but kid rappers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bro, you're right though, Ken. They got rid of the group. Now, back in the day, we had 112, Jagged Edge, Boys to Men, Jodeci. Uh, uh what's the uh, what's the fair east side group that sang on uh Lean on Me? What was that? Uh I remember the name. I know you're talking about. You know what I'm talking Lean about? Yeah. Th no, there's a real was, group yeah. in there. I'll tell you uh, what broke the group. The, yeah, yeah I'll tell you exactly what broke the group. The check. Yep. Yeah, the yep. check. Because every mm -hmm. group has that moment where they realize, okay, um, I think you cool, Johnny Gill. You know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just saying, ain't nobody uh, ever been like, hey, hey, oh, Johnny, how many times do you get hit with panties on stage? You know? Yeah. No, it's, it's, you're not, because uh, that's the thing, though, if you, like, if you are the group, man, like, uh, when you Bobby Brown, 
Bobby and, said it. Yeah. Bobby said it. He, he famously said, hey, man, so we're going to go on this tour. We're going to get New Edition back together. I'm going to make $100,000. He goes, bro, I get $100,000 by myself. Yeah. So yeah. I get it. I get it, bro. Hey, hey you, know, you know who's really doing the king of that is Timberlake. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. He, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, 100%. I mean, he feels, yeah. I, I, he filled that stadium the other night. I mean, it was packed. He didn't split it with anybody. Hey, that's mm. yeah, he has a DJ opening for him. Just for y'all listening, that's why Devin left real laughs. He's like, hey, love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't, I can't keep selling out these shows and splitting the 600 we made tonight. Mm -hmm. Hey, Devin, Devin Cisco. Yeah. Hey, hey Devin, Bobby Brown's Brown. mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Devin was sitting there, every little joke I tell. <laughs> you will laugh, girl, because I'm autistic hell. But I'm a great comic. And so we were all like, hey. And every one of us was like in the background dancing like, yeah, he going to leave. He going to leave. Hey, Miguel, and every now and then, now and then, he'll do a show with us, like a reunion. Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all yeah. want to roll? Want to roll me yeah. to the Midwest? I, sure. I feel like every now and then, Devin does something so horrible in life that he calls up and I'm going to take care of my boys right now. Yep. You know? <laughs> exactly. I'm going to do troll eight for them right now. Uh, yeah. There's three it's women like... missing in the Midwest is what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I got to pay my dues. Hey, Miguel. You want to come to Mississippi? We got a comedy show. I'm just going to pay you to fly here. Okay, pal. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he still got it. He got them jokes. Every little joke he does. Hey, funny. hey, for me, he was like, hey, Ken, I can't take you on the road. But hey, here go my YouTube TV login. There you yes. go. I'll take <laughs> it. Thanks, bro. Appreciate I'll it. i take it. His algorithm yeah. all weird. It's bacon shows and missing women. <laughs> <laughs> Dateline like a mug. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious, man. So, De so coffee. Devin watched Dateline eating popcorn like, <laughs> so sloppy. <laughs> it's not what I would have done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's the oh, fear? Oh. Where's the chance of her getting away? You're yes, ruining the art. Oh, Devin, the writes, them, Devin writes him in jail. Yeah, oh, yeah he funny. writes him in jail. He's like, hello, Lakeside Strangler. Yeah. The following 19 points are what I think you could have done. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the show. It's like, oh, they think three women are missing. Oh, little do they know, it was eight. Yeah, <laughs> eight, three. Nah. Oh, that dog doesn't know how to smell. <laughs> Very good. Oh, that's horrible, man. That's horrible. So and look, I'm in the background, like, yeah. Sometimes we bury girls. You know, he got me seven hundred dollars to do a feature in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. All right, so I got to uh, ask the question, Coffin, because you uh, let the cat out of the bag. Sir, you went to a Justin Timberlake concert, and uh, I believe you took some uh, people from your office to be nice. I took some ladies in my office who mm. wanted to be enticed by Mr. Timberlake. Mm, they T -Lake, thoroughly I were. T-Lake. There you go. T-Lake. They, they certainly were. Them How among 40,000 other screaming 40 to 60-year-old women. Oh, 40 to 60. Happy. Mm, yeah okay. oh yeah that place was okay. every 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 row we couldn't the good thing is all the bathrooms were open at the men's room yep <laughs> yeah. it wasn't a it wasn't a stall being Bro. taken up they i walked have... in there i said you know i could eat a meal in here you could have uh -huh. sold magical menopause elixir outside <laughs> hey there ladies a little uh -huh. warm outside always isn't it well mm -hmm. uncle titus's magical menopause elixir is available <laughs> made with 100 percent lizard tail <laughs> get yours step right up get it right now while it's hot oh there, there honey don't apply it directly to the skin what are you crazy <laughs> <laughs> so it must have been forty thousand screaming white soccer yeah. moms that smell like yeah. granola and starbucks coupons and regret yeah yeah there was regret. a uh it was it was funny I, it, it only took me about uh four highlight beers to be cool with it mm. it, it was good you know More i deep. sat there you know i stood up a little bit but he puts on a show man he the only I problem heard. is all these guys when they go on tour they always need to play 12 songs from their new album nobody wants to hear it that new album. nobody cares about they don't they really don't and man. i don't even know the point of it anymore i'm going yeah this is new stuff that you don't know and don't like but i'm gonna I gotta fill this conversation. Buy somewhere. this new stuff. That's what they're saying. Like, mm. buy my buying new stuff. it. Yeah. You know, they're just by Spotify, Apple Music. You know, they don't get paid anything off those. Here's my here's my rule when I go see a concert: play the slaps, play the songs I know and love. Play the slaps for me, bro. 
I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear the new stuff, man. Sing that Dawn song. Yeah, that's the one I yeah, like. Right? <laughs> Cry me a river. Sing that. that one that was on the Batman Two soundtrack. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one. <laughs> Play suit and tie, and I'll do the Jay Z part. Come man. on, let's go. Yeah. Hey, right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, hey, do in the time, and I sing the Beyonce part. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. I got this. Have the dead artist son come out as him. You know? <laughs> Ooh, that's that's Bushwick Jim. He's tall. Bushwick Jim. It's like six Bruh. two. It's weird. Man, I don't, dude, Jeff, I man, I guess Jeff, you're not a, a, a JT like fan fan because I would have been in that dance. Me too. I would have been in that dance, Sam, bro. bro. Oh my goodness, yo, I would have been. No, in I don't, I don't mind the songs I know. I, I'm just not big on twelve to fourteen songs that I don't know. And, I, I and can the, imagine and that, that wears like, me out a little bit because mm -hmm. I maybe I'm spoiled. I'm going to concerts now where all these artists know to play the hits. Yeah, you know? yeah, and could, and they know better. Yeah, you, they're like they're you, out there. They're, it's not like Springsteen who goes out there and just waste my time. I'm talking people out there who are who no. They they say, listen, let's give you seventy five percent. You know, let's give you seventy five. The minute you cross fifty, you know, I'm going to the bathroom three or four times. And and they literally post the set list from the night before, so everyone knows the songs they can leave to go to the bathroom. Ooh, I like that a lot, man. We yeah. can, I can go to the Outback little little express they got and go get a blooming onion. All right, man. Let me tell you something, yeah. bro. Let me tell you what? something. That Holla is at me. old people stuff. <laughs> they, gave, they gave you the they, they gave you the song list to let you know when to go to the bathroom. Yep. That yeah. is some old yep. people mess right there, bro. Uh huh. That, hey, listen, that, listen. That's listen the girls that. I were with, they knew. Kristen hauled ass. Kristen was like, "Gotta go to the bathroom." And she knew there were two songs she could go. Uh, Skyler went, uh, but it, it's definitely different traveling with women to a concert like that because you you become you you go into menopause, you know, with them. Funny, you know, in the that car, you're, you're like going, you know. They're oh, playing. you drove. Oh, you drove there with them too. Yeah. You're a good person. Yeah, they they were That's playing a lot like, of estrogen. Oh, you know, I was forced to be a Swifty for like two hours. Oh, you did that. I forgot yeah. you did that. You took one for the team, bro. Yeah, yeah. Taylor so. Swift concert. Oh, Oof. automatically comes with sparkles and like cowboy boots. Like, hey, here's the thing, though. <laughs> yeah. Everybody says that about everybody until they go see him in concert and they forget that this artist that they pretend that we all like not pretend, but we think we don't really care about. And then we're like, "That's right, they did that one." They did that. I guarantee you, boys, if we went to a Pussycat Dolls concert, we'd be like, this is what? And they'd be like, I forgot this one. Ah! Oh, <laughs> dog, let me tell you something. If they play Loosen Up My Buttons. Buttons? Hey, yeah. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog, Loosen hey, up hey, my I'm buttons, go, baby. I'm going to go and tell you. That was my ringtone for a little yeah. bit, dog. Yeah, that's that funny. was my song, bro. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the Snoop Dogg version. Of yeah, course. man. Yeah, yeah, Want man. Come know. on, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, yeah. I was gangster, but, bro. But for real, for real, though, man. Uh, I like T Lake. That's what I. Yeah. I yeah. love T Lake, bro. Yeah, I would have been dope to see. Lake. I would have, bro. And where What's was the this one? at? In Tampa, but he's coming to Orlando in hey, I you think drove October, down. November. You drove I four for him. Damn, yeah, you a good person, man. Listen, hey, I'll take one for the team. You see us in the club. Yeah. Oh, not I'm like, yo, we we fighting? We hey, fighting? my gu guilty guilty pleasure T Leg song. I got that feeling yes. in my bone. Come on, come on. <laughs> car got washed, hair got cut, took a solid. Come food. on, man. Come I on, got you. Man. Look at, hey, baby, come here. Did he take a wipe? Clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating good. I'm eating good. It's clean. Yeah. Look at that. We can reuse this piece. I'm gonna save it for me. I'm going to say, hey, y'all, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right here on Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1. Back, everybody. You are still listening to Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1. I'm your host tonight, Mr. James John, joining virtual studio with Jeff Batman Kaufman, Miguel Colon Jr., and Cruz Pop. It's the hip-hop pop-pop Ken Miller in the house. We were just talking to Mr. Jeff Kaufman, who does a lot of great things for his staff at his law practice. Now, he took a group of women uh to see timberlake i'm talking about justin if you will to see t lake perform now i wanted to know man how long is a timberlake concert uh you gotta be, they say you gotta be there at seven and that's when the dj goes on and then timberlake mm -hmm. goes on maybe about nine o'clock so two it's hours almost, it's almost an hour and a half two hours of the dj and then that's then he gets time. on he got on stage about nine ten 
and he played for a, a little less than two hours, I think. That's just because you got to do that. You got to pad the opening because nobody's coming for him. So yeah. everybody's coming for Timberlake. So you need stuff to be going on for the first people who get there at seven mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the last people who are getting there right before Timberlake comes on, you know? Because mm -hmm. like Jelly Roll, he's got uh, he's got comedy. He's got DJs and stuff. It's just getting everybody situated. Here's my question to you, Jeff. What qualified the people to get the Justin Timberlake experience from your office? Like what was the what was the deciding factor that you you six get in the car? We're going to go see T Lake. Well, I actually reward people differently all the time. Like, for example, uh, next week or no, in July, I'm taking uh, a bunch of people to a bunch of the country people to Morgan Wallen in Tampa. So I'm taking six people over there and then I'm taking people to. Germany. Wait, wait, wait. You can't you can't just skip over Morgan Wallen right. real quick. Ken Miller, do you know who Morgan Wallen is? Yeah, the N word, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is it. Now black people don't want the N-word in music. Take a stance, guys. Take a side. Uh, we, would, yeah. we wouldn't have minded if he was singing it, but he, he wasn't yeah. singing it. He, he, he got busted. He bust. See, this is the worst bust in the world. And, I, and if you want to see what money and power can buy you out of, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's going home it, and his, his, neighbors are, his, his neighbors are a little pissy. And he gets home uh, and he calls his buddy. And he doesn't know his neighbor's videotaping. He calls his buddy the end bomb. Mm -hmm. You know, like 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 stupid white people think they can call their buddies. You know, like oh hey, you know I'm cool, I'm edgy. I'm. I'm As you listen I'm, to Jeff's explaining why this is okay. Go for it. No, it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I said stupid James, white people Ken, who think they're and listen up. No, no, it's like Bieber. It's like a lot of these guys, more oh, yeah, Bieber guys who are so yeah. edgy. They think they yeah. they can do. And they that. think they're alone, and they think they're going to get away with it. Never. Well, a lot of people do it, you know, in the community too. They think, you know, every time you see something, oh, does he have a license or something? And you're yeah. going sooner or later, he's going to say it, and he's going to get punched in his mouth. And you know. guys, guys, they think they think they're so cool and edgy, they can do that. Like there are comedians out there who do it, and you know who I'm talking yeah. about, idiots. Yeah. And yeah. you know. So he does it and they go and his manager and everyone else they go we're canceling him the manager goes i'm out the record label goes i'm out the only problem is the morgan wallen dangerous album keeps going up and up and up hey it's guys number one streaming. you think morgan wallen's gonna lose any fans by saying the end <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if anything he got a couple people like all so, right i'm good with it now yeah three months later he goes he hangs out at a couple churches he does a thing for uh he says listen That's the I, get apology it. I get it it's you gotta go to a word. church yeah you know, i shouldn't do it all this other stuff mm -hmm. everyone comes back the managers come back the record labels the concerts everything so, all right you guys if you were like ahead. sleazy hollywood guys and you were like morgan wallet's management what would be your advice to gain the black audience back and i need bad advice only I'd be like, we're going on an atlanta strip club appearance tour oh no okay might be worse. <laughs> and i might be worse might be worse than that, bro. And I got I like you in two Tubi movies. Ooh, ooh, that's black Damn. as hell. Nah, first off, he would star in a movie, but it wouldn't be just Tubi. It would be a Tyler Perry production. Second. <laughs> <laughs> we, hey, Jay, and he got to kiss Tyler. He got to yeah. kiss Medea. Yeah. <laughs> Dressed as Medea's twin oh. cousin. Uh, and I'm talking, you talking about bad ideas? He would redo a Broadway play. He'd redo The Wiz, and he'd be the Michael Jackson Scarecrow character. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. And here's the best part. If Morgan could hit those notes, three shows in, black people would be like, I don't like yep. what he said. Boy can sing, though. Hey, hey man, we got yeah. the tickets. Hey, man, we got the tickets. Hey. Bro, that's hey. how we are. Bro, yeah. you do, hey, bro, you sang good enough, we'll let you get away with it. Yeah, he's murder. walking out the show. They're like, I don't want your autograph, but I did want to say you have a very good voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, no, hey, James, no, this Wednesday at Funk Fest, Juneteenth, he got to be the headliner. <laughs> Funk Fest! The headliner at, at Funk Fest, yo, he got to open for Anthony Hamilton. Bro! bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you want to give, you want to be forgiven in my community. Hey, bro. hey, boy, you got to eat some oxtails. Ooh, you got to go to, yeah. you got to go to Miss Kim's in Eatville, get you a soul hey. food plate. But that's where they got you. Country people like soul food. That's yeah, what it cool. got yeah. you. Hey, you, you gotta eat there though. You gotta you eat there. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you gotta sell your truck. <laughs> that's one of the things you gotta do. You know, people do sell out. I mean, no, yeah. you gotta dunk people it. do you gotta dunk people it. do allow themselves up. to get bought. 
I mean, all he's got to do is throw some money here, Easily. some money there. You know, I mean, so, so so who? Let's ask this question real quick then, since we're on yeah. the topic of Morgan Wallen, because he's back. They said he was canceled. He's, he's on one. My boy oh. Cole Wetzel is going on tour with him, man. Cole yeah, Wetzel, bro. He's, he killed. He kills it. I mean, yeah. everywhere he goes. So so. I know we people can actually get canceled nowadays. So what's the thing you have to do to make it stick? Okay, now may I, may I, I, yeah, I step yeah, with yeah. this one? Yeah. Um, you have to get canceled by your fans. Mm, you if you point. get canceled good by point. anybody else besides your fans, you're not canceled. You're not canceled. But you're if your right. fans cancel you, you're canceled. If you lose your fan base, you can be canceled. You're right. You're right. I'm gonna tell Go. you how you get canceled. It's real simple. Be a D-lister. You can't cancel an A-lister. A listers can apologize, go to rehab. They come out. They come mm -hmm. out that. But you get you get a there's guy. There's a machine like, behind uh, them though. There's an yeah, apology machine. Because there's apology machine. They go on tour. They apologize for the nonsense. And next thing you know, you know you're going okay. I get it. Like look at Mel Gibson. I mean, come on. He he somehow was able to come out the back end. And and this is a dude who gets pulled over for a DUI, and it's Bro. on camera blaming the Jews for why he got pulled Bro, over. That's I I'm mean, not laughing. I mean, out of all the crazy made... racist crap you're going to say, oh, that's ooh. where it comes. You're going, you know what? It's the Jews. And you're just going, <laughs> Jeff, man. He was just ahead of his time. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, all right. Now, hey. now he would be outside of Berkeley University and NYU, and they'd be like, yeah. tell him, tell him. <laughs> Tell him you're right. <laughs> hey, Jays, I yeah. agree with Miguel. It's the it's the fan thing. I had to look this up. And I ahead. agree. It's the fan. If your fans don't cancel you, you can't be. After the R. Kelly verdict, oh his sales went up 500%. Damn. Wow. Bro. That's, that's, no, that's sales. His streaming went up 116% after the guilty verdict. I only bought two albums because I just thought they were going to take them off the shelf. Yeah, I understand. I understand, bro. Mm. So yeah, I'm with you, man. I'm with you, Miguel. I, yeah. I feel like your fans have to have to cancel stop messing with you because, like, you know, when Dave Chappelle did his thing and the and the, and the community went after him, he guess what? I'm sure it still was selling out. Sure, Louis C.K. Still C.K. Louis C.K. C.K. That's right. He, kid, dog. he got hey, he got low for a little bit, then came back. Got low, dang. So you're right, Miguel. If you're thinking about cancellation, it's your fans who really determine that. If nobody's feeding that machine anymore, nobody's buying your stuff, yeah, you're done. I, I got it. Damn. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That's why I'm Some saying more... WNBA, tread lightly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I asked I asked Jeff about that. Ken, I can we can pivot and talk about that. No pun intended. Ken, are you watching Ooh, the WNBA now? Nah. Nah. I get the, Still, I get the I get the um, alerts for it, but I haven't watched a single game. Man. Still, I, it's not I, enough. I, I, you I'm, a a oh, I'm a college basketball fan, and I yeah. like women's college basketball. Mm -hmm. I just did. I just didn't. It just didn't move over to the WNBA. Next season, I'll be watching women's college basketball because I just love the storylines of South and Carolina the rivalries and LSU yeah. and, and yeah. rivalries. You when UConn is good, when Tennessee is good, I like that. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Yeah. So I saw a WNBA game uh, on accident, and uh, I was watching it. And my question is this: Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not the biggest sports fan out there. But it seems like they're playing harder in college th th than the normal M WNBA that's, game. To that's me. any. That's all the sports. All yeah. of them. Okay. I feel like okay. that's all. I feel like college players play way harder than professional players. They, they can fifty million. I, I make them fifty million dollars a year. Yeah, but it depends. Player if player you're player. playing a scrub game, that doesn't matter. No, I mean yeah. you could be playing. You, you, yeah. Every college team has at least twenty five percent of the people they play are scrubs, mm -hmm. and and they could they could play their second string second mm -hmm. string to so, it. So basically, in college, it's every game is almost a tryout because there's still one more level. job left. Yeah, mm -hmm. once so, you so, got the job, it's about keeping it. Think about this too, like. uh there's lots of times when when you playing you playing and you you in the NFL and you just know we're not going to the playoffs. I don't care. Mm, in yeah. college, these are your last years of this. This is how you get to the NFL my shot. still being good. Yeah. Yeah, it's my shot. I'll tell you so, this with the WNBA, there's something I wanted to bring up. Is no, go ahead. Go ahead. I, and I make tons of jokes about the WNBA. Trust me, man. Trust me. I, I make jokes. But what I don't like though is like all you gotta do is not watch it if you don't like it. You know, that's kind of like what you know, if you're not into it. But there's people criticizing it now because its numbers are rising. And I'm like, what? 
So they can't win, can they? Like nobody yeah. watches it and we making jokes. People watching it. Now we making jokes. I'm like, I don't mind the jokes part as much as like the online hate that just doesn't make sense. Jokes to me are always fine because yes. jokes are about jokes are stupid anyway. Jokes are about mm -hmm. us looking stupid when we make them. Mm -hmm. Um, but I hear people like criticize, like, oh yeah, the WNBA thinks it's doing. I mean, it's not personally texting you, like, yeah, we just doubled our numbers. What's up, James? <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> you know, in like your, it's not in bothering you. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, it, didn't tag, it yeah. didn't tag you with 99 people in the post. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, we got numbers, baby. Yeah. Oh, so doing it's like, no? okay, more people. More people want to watch it. Cool. That's 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 exactly what we, everybody who was making jokes about it was making jokes about that a lot of people didn't watch it. Now people yeah. are watching it more. They're watching. Jay, it. James and I were talking about this earlier, and here here's the thing: they are intentionally screwing with us. They're, with they're WNBA. Getting, yeah. Remember, WNBA. remember the Howard Stern joke was that uh, this is if you liked him, you listened for two hours. If you hated him, you listened to for four. Four hours. Yeah. Mm. And that's what's happening. The ESPN's throwing it at us, CNN's throwing it at us, and they're going, okay, here, you know, here's how good it is. And people are going, what do you mean? This is good? And they want you to be mad. Because think of this way. That foul that happened last game that they've With been Caitlin advertising. Clark. Yeah, the Caitlin Did you see that kid? foul where the girl came across the back of her head. Yeah, yeah, I can promise you that if that was Steph Curry, somebody had been suspended for a game. Can't can oh, hit the superstar, yeah. baby. In the NBA, okay. they don't play that. You can't, you can't that. touch can't the, the superstar, superstar in the NBA. But, but here's nah. the thing: they want that to happen because they go, "Ooh, we're gonna we're gonna churn this. We're they gonna churn Vince it because over we don't care." The WNBA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's like, "Your storyline sucks." Exactly. Okay? Uh, Brittany, Griner, here. Brittany Griner, get in here. You committed to the heel role, and I respect <laughs> that. Hey, are you are you not seeing it? Yeah, you're yeah. talking about two teams that have the worst uh, records in their division. Terrible, terrible. Selling out, and here's what terrible. here's the exception they're going to make. Somehow these teams with the worst <laughs> records are going to make the playoffs. Yeah. That's funny, they're going to figure out how to, how to give them the belt. Here's hey, the belt. Hey, <laughs> hey Miguel, you say the ladder match gotta come out? Brittany got to come out like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> they got fire in the WNBA. That's a good game. Yeah. Bro, this, this is wild. That bad. Hey, how are you supposed to go to the hole in the middle of the ring? Like, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got Cameron Brink coming out in an evening gown. Just yeah. Just it out. <laughs> you're right. I mean, they, they are selling this to us. They're selling it to us like exactly they, like they, remember yeah, Magic right, Bird. Jeff. They really are. It's dude. Um, Monica McNutt said this yeah. on um ESPN on Stephen A. Smith show. He was like, she was like, you weren't talking about the WNBA three years ago. No. He was like, he was like, I was. She says, no, 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 you weren't. What? Nobody yeah. was talking yeah. about the WNBA. You might have brought up a story, but mm -hmm. y'all right, wasn't. But you, it wasn't the first forty-five minutes of first take. Is Never. the WNBA, bro? Yeah, yeah. crazy. Here, here, here's here's the trick, and I'm telling you right now, Miguel. Yeah. Tell me in the last ten years, who, which female figure skater won a gold medal? You're 100 right. I, now I tell me. Know. Now tell me the most famous two figure skaters. You Nancy Kerrigan. <laughs> yeah. Tanya yeah. Hardy. <laughs> but a side note, Christine Yamaguchi. <laughs> yeah. Hey, once again, that was yeah, the McMahon. Yamaguchi. Hey, is that like again, a Pokemon? Yeah, Once you're 100 percent right, Jim. You're 100. What was that? 1994. Yes, yeah. and we're still talking about it. Yeah, yeah. you're 94. right. You're, you're right. right. Jay, we're gonna be talking James, about Caitlin James. Clark and this stuff for the next 20 years because yeah, you're right. We're Jeff. not gonna care about the games. James, yeah. you're right. WWE, baby. That's right. WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> for an object. For an object. Yeah. <laughs> the ref didn't see it. Ref didn't hey, see what's it. what's the rule? What's the rule on what makes a woman? So as long as they identify. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Rihanna Toss. <laughs> she comes out. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to take a short pause for the calls. Don't go anywhere. Y'all come back and listen to Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1. And you're still listening to Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1. I'm your host, Mr. James Young. I'm in virtual studio with some very funny comedians. We got Jeff Batman Kaufman, Miguel Cologne Jr., and Cruz Pop. It's the hip hop pop pop. Ken Miller in the house. Now, guys, summertime is upon us. If you don't believe me, just look at my back sweat when I just check the mail. Bro, it's hotter on the blotter out there. I don't know about you guys, but I'm staying inside for the next two months. I ain't going out at all. It's just going to be... What do you call it? I'm calling up Uber Eats 
and I'm just gonna be in the house because it's too hot. Every for me. every summertime, all us fat dudes get the holy trinity. It's the line of sweat down our stomach <laughs> and then on our boobs. Yeah, it's the stigmata of fat dudes. <laughs> stigmata. <laughs> <laughs> like old Cuban ladies, like I don't know, they're like they're like doing the cross and blowing cigar smoke at us. It's, <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> hey, cutting the heads off a rooster, like yeah, yeah. How do you Dude smell? says stigmata, bro. <laughs> hey man, hey, drip. You feel the first one? You sit oh, there. Oh. It goes that the the, the 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 between the booby sweat, Yo. and then the ones underneath run, and you're like, uh oh, uh oh, it's yep. like a werewolf. You're like, it's happening. It always <laughs> happens on my left back. And I'm like, oh no. And then you're mm -hmm. like, it's like a werewolf change. You're like, oh no, not here. No, and that God. sweat runs down centrally. It's all yeah, slow. It does. Like, this is no ordinary sweat. <laughs> and it's so nice and cool though. You're like, oh. my back is on fire. Yeah, that's what it is, bro. But with summer does come a little bit of relief usually when it comes to entertainment, right? And uh, I'm talking about the summer blockbuster movie. But the thing I've noticed is we don't really got that, right? Like, where's no. the blockbuster? What, what you happened? knew the blockbuster was coming because the fast food restaurant was pitching it first. Absolutely, like, yep. bro. If, if a new Batman meals, came slushies. out, yep. yeah. giant cup with the Riddler on it. The first mm -hmm. one that I remember being like game changing was uh, when Jurassic Park came out. Uh, before there was supersizing, there was dino size. Sizing. And you used to dino size your meal, and it gave your yep. sandwich like an extra patty, some extra chicken nuggets. I like how me and James are like, that's gospel. The, the, that's the less gospel. fat two are like, what are you talking about? Me and James are like, oh, Bro, I remember. Dino I remember. Size. Bro, for like a whole, like, what, three months, I was an archaeologist. Like, I was, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, <laughs> I was out there in the archaeology but, street. But, but the crazy thing is, a lot of the chains don't do it anymore because if you go to Regal, Regal does the big cup and their the own big cups. They do, they their do own. the popcorn yeah. buckets. The popcorn yeah, the popcorn buckets, yep. buckets the cups yeah. and stuff. So you the go cups to now too. Yep. Yeah. But I, yeah, I with you, man. I was the summer blockbuster. The bad boys. No, it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be yeah, Deadpool. I mean, Deadpool. Bad Deadpool's boys. Is go, Deadpool's gonna do one worldwide. Point. Is it one what? billion already for real? Yes, Bad Who? Boys is one billion dollars worldwide. It did not. It did not. Yeah, Google Stop. it. Oh. I did. Google it. I did. Bad Boys. I, I, I report Damn. on it every week. That's not I'm a billion. I'm taking everything. It. I just saw no. it. Unless somebody lied. No, somebody's lying to you. Go, go to Mojo. Go to week Mojo Weekend. That's where it's going to be. Uh, Google Mojo Weekend. No, that's it, where. It's well, I'm, one day ago, it support supposedly two hundred and fourteen point six million gold. Yeah. Yeah, you've been somebody lying lied then, but yeah, I saw no Billy. Yeah, yeah, that's because. Oh, never mind. It's the franchise. My bad. Oh, yeah, I'm on oh, Mojo. See, I see it right now. Box off the Mojo. See, that would only happen if Will Smith smacked the hell out of the newscaster. That's funny. The way that one. By the way, that's hilarious. No, what's what's going to yeah. happen is that's already tanking. It's already it already dropped by I think like a down to a third. What? So but it's what's a tank? It made two hundred fifteen million dollars. Okay. but it costs. What, what, what happens the budget. is it's held. What happens is does it hold the next week? Like this Disney movie that just came out by Pixar, uh, that Inside that movie's going to hold. That's going to hold. It's already done three hundred million in one week. Hey, yeah, kid, this is these are the sports analysis. No, no, it is look at Pixar movies have tanked over the last uh, year and a half. You know, they they this is a hit for them, and they're going to wind up doing probably by the time it's done about five six hundred million. I want with, Pixar to do one about the emotions because it's like what the emotions of a teenager in this yeah, one or something you're yeah. supposed to see it. I want I want it, I, I want it to be like one of them kids and you like uh oh like it ends dark and you like no don't make sure he doesn't go to school that day. You know like it's just <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> Amy Poehler don't let him go to school. <laughs> don't let him go to school. <laughs> Yo. That's funny, bro. Play that that Blink thirty. What's that Blink? Uh, one eighty two song. What's doom, that song? Doom, 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 doom. I yeah. never conquered. Rarely came. This is my rifle. Speaking will never. <laughs> oh, God, there are many other like it, but this one is mine. Yes, bro. <laughs> sign off Call of Duty. Hey guys, on Call of Duty, real quick. I'm gonna give you all my stuff. You guys were cool. Uh, <laughs> Tiger Warrior six two five. You go to Johnson High. Yeah, stay, stay home. <laughs> Bro, you wow. This is my favorite part of Full Metal Jacket. So, so 
I'm just trying to figure that out going back to what we were talking about. So is the blockbuster just something people don't try to invest in anymore because it's just too much money? Dead? Like, is the movie theater dead too? I, I, I had a feeling. I was thinking to myself, I've been going to, I go to 40 movies a year. Yeah. You know, the quality didn't fall down. The numbers have gone down. But then I saw this Pixar movie. And then I'm thinking to myself, hold on a second. If we're learning our lesson, and the lesson is us, give people what they want. Yeah. Stop telling us what we want. Give us exactly what we want, and we're going to eat it. And mm -hmm. and that showed this movie was the perfect example that Deadpool is going to be, oh, bring back Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. He dead. We don't care. Bring him back. Yeah. That movie is going to do over a billion dollars easy. Yeah. Bro, and, I'm going to see it. And, you know, I'm going to see it eight us. times you know, in two hours. creating stuff we don't want that you want us to want. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to be fine. My favorite, I'd I, I be with you. My man. favorite I, whiny I responses. That, I, Go ahead. I, my, for me, I really feel that one COVID, just I don't want to be up in a the theater with a bunch of people. Number one, number two, people just don't know how to act in theaters anymore. I like when I go and I got to be like, yo, can you be quiet? Why is your kid running up and down the aisle? This is bad, boys. Why you got a kid in here? That so part, if, if I can watch it at home. I will watch a movie at home now but before see, I go to um, a theater, bro. I agree with you. I understand. I, no, not agree. I understand what you're saying. But I think Jeff's like me. I love the movie going experience. I love to go I see it to. in a theater. I but to. see, I used to too, bro. I, I got the so hack, though. I don't go to movies at the same time I used to. Now that I've gotten older, I always go at the same time during the day. One o'clock in the afternoon. It's empty. It's me and my wife and a few other people. And it's peaceful. I will that's, not go to a movie at night. That's that, I won't. That's that road on, on the road. That's that road well, movie yeah. right there. Me and Ken saw <laughs> Seven Years a Slave together. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but, I, I, but I wish you, man. I like, yeah, my, Miguel, my bad to cut y'all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just feel like it's, I don't know if because it's COVID and because now we go to theaters, people just don't know how to act. I, it's, man, I it can sucks. wait. And, and also, too, if it doesn't do well, it's going to be streaming in a month. So I can wait. <laughs> Two days now. Watch a movie that I can fast forward through because I'm going to. Yeah. I mean, I, I, uh, yeah, even I, bad ones, I'd rather see in the theater and go, oh, well, I'm glad I didn't see that. I, I take Jake up to the movie every Tuesday night, and that theater's full because it's Cinemark, and they, they do a half off the ticket mm -hmm. price. And, Beautiful theater, by the way. You know, going to action movies and doing what you need to do, I got no problem with it. Yeah, people are, people are going to be act poorly wherever you go. They do it in restaurants. They go everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't know. I don't. I don't really think about it too much. I still. I still. I love the movies. That's my thing. Uh, me and my wife go yeah. to theme parks. We go to movies. So I, I still like it, man. But I, I'm starting to go less and less, which is weird because we used to go like three times a week. There'd be something out to see. But now yeah, it's few and far between. Like this is one of the first years I didn't get a Marvel movie in for my birthday. Like for the last 15 years, I would get a movie on it. But now it's just even that slowed up, bro. So I don't know, man. It may be time to cut back on how many we make because somebody's losing money somewhere. Well, they are. Disney. Money. Disney's only going to do. Uh, they said they're going to do less than three movies a year, less than uh, three television shows a year. So they're already cutting back, and they're but they needed to. With it. Yeah. it was getting too much. Like you're making people. You, you were trying. You were trying to do too much. You were making stuff that wasn't even the same quality. I'm it like was stuff to Pixar. Is it this Dragon Trained? Like. <laughs> 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 That's funny. You're in your dragon train yet? Still, <laughs> still, still out here in these streets, man. That's funny. But Ken, let me ask you a question, man. You used to take your kids to the movies all the time. Do they still go with you? Y'all do don't see the yeah, same kind of yeah, movie they anymore. Still go. Though. Nah, okay. they still go. Yeah, they're gonna see anything with me. But my kids are all so, were also very well trained. My son will yeah. tell you if my son goes to the movie with his homeboys. I've told my son if they get to talking. You move, cause you never know. You know that story down in South Florida. Yes, you sir. You be the one to catch the bullet. Yes, sir. You, or you be the one to get in trouble. I, so my kids are, they know better at the movies. Bro, I almost got into a fight the last time I went. Remember I told y'all when Son, I was in the movie, yeah. I was on the fight. Oh, James bro. John. Bro. Yeah, bro, me, bro. James, I yeah, went bro. to take my kids to see Blue Beetle, and oh, wow. it was a dude in front of us. He wouldn't. He was on a date, so I was like, "Hey, dog." Hey man, you talk. I ain't talking, but I be quiet. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> he denied it. I be quiet with my crew, by myself. <laughs> I was like, and so I have to, and then you know the PTSD kick in. 
Yeah, so man. He, I think he heard me. I was like, can you <laughs> calm down? Calm can you calm down? Just calm down. Bro, that brother got up and left. <laughs> Ken started like, like rapping wire like he was back <laughs> in the military again. Hey, I put my hand in some glass. Uh, bro, Kumite. Calm down. Just calm down. It's just a movie. It's just a movie. Don't let just calm. And my kids You're were like, Dad. My kids were like, Dad, it's just a movie. No. Now somebody nah. gotta die today. Nah, somebody gotta die. Can't, your daughter, your daughter's looking at you. Headband on, and he tied in the back. <laughs> somebody gotta die. Yeah. Your, your daughter's looking at you. Hey, big fella, sun's going down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, all of a sudden you got to uh, put the bayonet in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And you just so. Okay. I'm not in Fallujah. We didn't have popcorn in Fallujah. Guys, give me stimulants. We didn't have popcorn in Fallujah. Hey, lady, let me sip your Dr. Pepper. We didn't have Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I got to remember I'm not there. Show me them things, girl. <laughs> uh, yo, the whole lineage, kid. I, I, it's, I, dude, I'm just telling you, it, it messes up my experience because I just want just pay attention. Laugh when you want to laugh. Shout yeah. when you want to shout. But they were yeah. having a dating conversation. That's funny. you know what I'm saying? Like they were having a dating, like they were yeah. talking, like they were on a date. I'm like, yo, mm. you ain't hey, hey dog, what's across uh what's the um the bar bar Louie across the street? Go over there. Go go to the bar. Go over there. Bro, don't make me come in here and rat a tat tat pop bro, pop pop. Oh my god. My Hilarious, like, bro. My, my kids is like, dude. I was like, yo, Ken, just breathe. Yeah, that's just, funny that you started saying. saying that. Just breathe, Ken. <laughs> just breathe, just relax. Mm. It's just a movie. Just chill. Don't let your PTSD kick in. Just chill, bro. bro. Man, that here's dude was like, all right, yo. Here's something I want to hear if somebody starts getting angry. I don't want to hear, oh, man, calm down. We can't go back to jail. We can't go back, <laughs> we can't go, yo, we can't go back to prison. you start talking to yourself. <laughs> That's right. We cannot. <laughs> we can't. Back. You're right. You're right, James. We can't, can't go back. We can't. We can't. It's, 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 it's the, the spirit of your mama there. She's in your ear. She's like, baby. Baby, you don't need this. You don't need to do this. And on the other side, Charlie McAdoo's in his greens with a radio, enemy fire going. He's like, Ken, watch him now. Ken, call in the airstrike now, son. Make it rain. Yeah. <laughs> Ken, give me the protocols right now. Baby, don't do this. Baby, next thing you know, Charlie McAdoo, he's like stabbing a dude with a rice hat. Do it, Ken. Do it. <laughs> Oh, oh movie's been oh. over for an hour. Can't oh. Say <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There's a cop in hey a full, a full, full armor sitting next to him. Like, I don't want it to end bad, son. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, real quick, man. Uh, I we got a little bit of time left, man. But this has been a great show. Thank you guys at home for listening. Thank you guys for supporting us all this time. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Look up Real Last. Before we go, gentlemen, what do you guys got going on this weekend? Who's performing where? It's it's today Tuesday, Wednesday show. Wednesday. <laughs> all right, so we skip Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, so right now me and Miguel do a Christy B room. <laughs> Are you? I got so scared when you said right now because I was like, oh no, I'm doing a room right now too. <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday night. We are at Christy B's room Woo! right now. That's some funny. show on Juneteenth, and then this weekend, uh, unless something changes, I'll be hosting for um, Tony Roberts at Funny Bone. Tony Roberts right there on Friday, June 21st through Sunday. Oh, a Sunday show. Look at that. All right, and also we are going to be on Friday, oh. Funny Fridays, our man, Mr. Jeff Kaufman, will be performing, everybody. Doors open at 6.45. The show is at 7.15. It'll be me, Ken. Miguel, you going to be there? Funny Fridays this week? I'm yeah. Mike, guys, so I'm trying to be. I'm trying to pop in. Okay, very nice, man. Uh, uh, Mr. Jeff Kaufman at the Orlando Funny Bone, if you will, man. You've been working your tail off, man, so it's well-deserved, so... Round of applause for Mr. Jeff, man. Good job. Good job, sir. Thank there you. you go. Thank you, gentlemen. I look forward to I was uh, funny. I stepped on that stage the other day just to see what it felt like because I've never been on it. And I was nice. like, oh, man, there's a lot of bit to the left and a lot of bit to the right. It really is. Get on. And a lot behind you, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, bro. Stage. And also, I want to give a shout out to a, a gentleman who puts on his own shows, man. He puts on stuff 
uh, called Straight Foolishness, if you will. So this Saturday, I'll be a judge at his third annual Comedy Showcase 2024. Someone's going to be winning $500. That's right. We got Antoine Murphy, Ash Cash, Dorian Gale, Kevin Dean, Leroy Gordon. That's my dude. Chris Alexander, friend of the show, and Patrick Sisk are all competing, man. And, who, and, and Jay the Funny Man. You always forget his name. Oh, man, I'm sorry, man. Jay the Funny Man. The first my name. Bad. <laughs> my bad, dog. I always get right over that. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> Curtis Bateman's putting that on. You guys want to get tickets, go to straightfoolishness.com. It's happening this Saturday, man. All right. Uh, don't forget also to listen to Mr. Jeff Kaufman and myself every morning. Not every morning. I'm sorry. Every Saturday morning on um, Under Oath, if you will, my friends. He ho he actually hosts and he actually interviews some really big celebrities. We have a good time. We talk about nonsense. And he also does some law stuff with his buddy Craig. Y'all be sure to tune into that. Thank you guys for listening to Real Laughs tonight. And Ken Miller, tell everybody what they need to do. Take your ass to bed. We out. <laughs>